Good evening. Thanks for joining us tonight for Local 3 News. I'm Cynthia Thompson. We begin tonight with an update in the Kelly Cochran case. The Michigan Court of Appeals has upheld Cochran's 2017 conviction that's related to the death of 53-year-old Christopher Carl Regan. Local 3's James Fillmore joins us tonight in the studio. James, you've been looking at the court documents. They were just released today, Cynthia. Cochran alleged that the Iron County Trial Court was wrong in allowing certain evidence to be admitted. This includes Cochran's claims that she was a serial killer, that she and her husband Jason had a trophy bag with items from previous murders, and that she made shanks out of her eyeglasses while in jail. The Michigan Court of Appeals did not agree and ruled that the serial killer statements were admissible. Plus, the Court of Appeals decided it was not likely that the shanks impacted the outcome of the trial, considering all the other evidence. Now, all of this means Cochran's life sentence and conviction in Michigan stands. Christopher Regan went missing in October 2014. According to testimony, Kelly and Jason Cochran had a pact to kill any person with whom they had an affair. Regan was shot, dismembered, and his remains were scattered in the woods. You may remember the jury found her guilty in 2017 after the 13-day murder trial. Last year, Kelly Cochran admitted to killing her husband, Jason, as part of a plea deal. Reporting in the studio, James Fillmore, Local 3 News. Cynthia, back to you.